Uh, as you can see, I already installed here a threshold between tiles and hardwood floor here. I'm just remodeling the kitchen here, as you can see. Just install a new sink here. So I just want to talk about it because uh, I want to show you what, uh, why I actually choose this piece of metal uh, to use as a threshold here. I just want to show from close proximity the way it looks. As you can see, there are two, three screws, and this is the screw that I actually use, you know, to attach it to the floor behind, under it. So I just want to show you what problem I have uh, and why I choose this kind of uh, threshold. Here is uh, the same situation. Here is the bathroom, as you can see, which I also remodel, and I just want to show you what's going on. Okay, if you're going close to it, we have the same situation we have in a kitchen. Uh, there is a tile over Audi Baker board or Baker board and under it there is vinyl and eventually what you have here is the height here is really exactly one inch, I measure it. Okay, it's exactly one inch because the people was too lazy to replace the vinyl and they put uh, two vinyls and uh, one Audi Baker, half an inch on it, and in addition to it, they put a tile, as you can see. So I know what I will, I will show you how high it is. I have a measure tape, and you can see, if I put the measure tape here, you can see that the height is exactly one inch. Okay, so what I want to show you is, this is the piece of metal I actually installed already here. And this is the other one that I purchased, and I just want to show you which company it is. It's called Saddle Threshold. And the disadvantage of this uh, piece is actually coming by 3 inch by time 3 feet, as you can see here, 3 feet by 3 inch. They don't have 2 feet. So what we will have to do, we will have to cut it straightly using um, a grinder here, and you know, to cut it properly. And... Um, install it in the bathroom. So the first thing I need to do is to measure. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing here. I measure between this point to this point. Okay, it's 23 and if I look at it very carefully, it's 23 and 3 8. Okay, so that's what I need to cut. 23 and 3 8, maybe 23 and a quarter that we're going to have like 116 from each side. That's what I'm going to do now. You see here, I already mark here exactly where I should cut it. Okay, so it's exactly 23 and a quarter. So this is the piece of metal as you can see here and that's what I'm going to cut it uh, with a grinder. So I'm using this grinder over here, as you can see. So that's the way it looks from here. Almost a perfect cut. Very easy. It's aluminum, it's very easy to cut. Okay, so what we have now, what left for us to do is we just need to put it here to see how it's fit. And as you can see, it's almost perfect. So the only thing we need to do now is just to screw it to the floor. That's the next step we're going to do. Okay, so now I have here, here is the screw. It comes with, with the threshold that you buy. It's come actually with four screw. I'm just putting it here. And and that's it. The job done. So that's very easy to do 
Everybody can do it and I want to show you something here. I'm closing the door. As you can see the door is closed and open. And that's it. So easy and simple and it's also nice. Thank you for watching this video.